Isn't it past your bedtime, boy? Let's just see who's going sleepy by in the next couple of minutes, huh? Robin brings a certain uh, uh, child appeal to the Batman universe. A lot of times, kids really look for a stronger uh, heroic role model to identify with, and they fantasize not so much, could I be that character, but could I work with him? What we've got here is a variation on the ancient Chinese puzzle box. Can you solve it? You kidding? You're looking at the guy who solved the Baxter's box puzzle in 37 seconds. Back in the day when they first created Robin for the comics, the idea was supposed to be um, a point of view character for the kid audience. You know, theoretically, the idea was that you know kids could read the comic and know that they couldn't actually be Batman, but they could be Robin. You know, so they could like envision themselves having adventures with Batman. Thanks for saving my bacon, Robin. Hey, no problemo, Batman. They love the idea that they, they could be standing side by side with Batman, riding in the, in the Batmobile, fighting the Joker and the Penguin and all the bizarre villains. We initially kind of used him off and on. He, he would appear in some episodes and other episodes he didn't, uh, just where it seemed to make a lot of sense. Why can't I go with you? What's the deal? I'm working alone tonight. People expected to see Robin. He's part of uh, the Batman world, and you can't go too long in there without wondering, you know, where is he? You know, what, what, what's he doing? What, what take do they have on Robin this time? Robin was there in um, several of the first scripts. We just didn't put him up front. Listen, it'll only take a minute to get into my costume. Not this time, Dick. But Robin does have a really good origin story, so we felt that was a really good, um, you know, springboard for, a, for an episode. I think, uh, you know, Robin's Reckoning was the opportunity to present the character and give him some some uh, backbone for our series. Bruce Wayne saw Robin orphaned as a child in the, in the circus. He immediately identified with, uh, with, with what he had gone through himself when he saw his own parents murdered. I think he also saw in him, you know, a, a child at the crossroads who, who needed someone. For however long it takes, you have a home with us. The relationship with Dick Grayson was kind of one as, as a foster parent. So just as Alfred was kind of the father figure to him, growing up. He was the father figure to Dick Grayson. Kind of what we did was to make Robin a grown-up and put him in college so he and Batman get together occasionally and fight crime together, but for the most part Dick Grayson's away at college and occasionally he comes home for like the holidays or whatever and uh, you know he and, he and Bruce go suit up and go out and beat up the bad guys. I don't get to do this much since I started college. I was pretty glad that uh, the decision was finally made to have Robin be older uh, in our show. We can have Dick Grayson get into slightly more sophisticated adult situations where a child would be, you know, would be suspect. Um, you know, a, a kid can't go easily into places where a college student can. Listen, dipstick, Batman's my pal. He can be a major jerk, but you gotta love him. And nobody tries to fillet him when I'm around. There was actually kind of a stress on making Robin like this, uh, Happening, uh, happening teenage hero. Had a bunch of character designs that he just had done. I just looked and like Robin, I just thought, you know, he just made him punk and cool. I've waited a long time. In the comic books at the time, um, Neil Adams had redesigned the costume so he wasn't, you know, he didn't have the bare legs and the little pixie boots and stuff anymore. They had kind of given him a little bit more of a, a multicolored ninja outfit, and it was still multicolored, but it was a little bit cooler looking than, than the traditional Robin costume. So we took that as our starting point visually. There was a little bit of confusion because we were using a, a more modern costume, but you know, it was clearly Dick Grayson. We made it, you know, we wanted to make it traditional in, in other aspects. You can do it. When we take a character from the comics and translate them into the animation, um, Quite often, there's not one specific version of that character that we want to translate exactly to the screen. You know, we, we looked at a lot of different elements uh, that had gone into Robin over the years, just as we had looked at the many different elements that had made up the more successful parts of Batman and picked and chose from, from them. He's a composite of all of the, the old Robins, uh, from Burt Ward to the Neil Adams uh, in, interrogation in the comics. We didn't want to do the, the goofy, you know, aw shucks, uh, uh, wisecracking sidekick, you know, we, we avoided that. It was a hard and fast effort to, to toughen him up a bit, to give him a little bit of a, a, a little unique quality to our show, but also a strength of his own. And still we had to deal with, you know, red and green colors. So uh, there, it was 
as far as I was concerned, I think we even joked, may as well just paint a target on his back because <laughs> there was no way he was hiding in the shadows. Let's take it by the numbers, nice and easy. Yeah, time to kick some butt. Good thing we had that little chat. When we had created our version of Dick Grayson, we put that character on sort of an emotional journey, going from the young uh, daredevil partner of Batman to someone who was growing up to juggle uh, college life and crime fighting to someone who had realized over a period of time that crime fighting Batman's way was not really working for him. Oh no, he's not gonna ace me out. Must have did you. Not this time, Alfred. Maybe not ever again. I mean, he was just as committed to crime fighting and to justice, but he wanted to be his own man. So a, a new identity was called for, so he chose the identity of Nightwing. There was still that need for Batman to have a young partner, so we decided, let's go back and make him the younger version of Robin. The kid Robin that we did in The New Adventures of Batman um, was a combination of both Tim Drake and Jason Todd. Jason Todd uh, was a version of Robin that was created for the comics in, I believe, the uh, uh, late 70s. Served as Robin for several years, and the fans liked him. He ultimately went down a darker path and wound up being murdered by the Joker, which was a very strong story and one that we couldn't do um, in our series, so we ultimately abandoned it. The current Robin that they had in the comics was Tim Drake. We decided he should be Tim Drake, but Jason had a really good origin story. So we made him Tim Drake, he had Jason's or origin, and he had some of Jason's characteristics. So he's really kind of a half and half, you know, conglomerate of, of the two different Robins. Kind of felt we'd done the dark stuff enough, and there was a chance to lighten and have the show be more fun. Just worked having a younger character in there. I don't really know why the concept of Robin works as well as it does. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Except for the fact that it gives Batman somebody to constantly be, you know, bouncing dialogue off of. You sure about this extortion ring? Uh-huh. It's been four hours. Uh-huh. You still think they'll show? Uh-huh. <sighs> Lucky for me, you're such a good conversationalist. Robin is necessary in that he yanks Batman back from the abyss. It served its purpose to have, uh, to humanize Batman a little bit more. And that was the goal. Uh, Robin did that well. Robin just, by the nature of his personality, uh -huh. kind of prevents him from being quite as dark a person. I love that trick, but I can never make it work. Bruce Wayne is so to totally close to the darkness, he'll always have that in him. Robin, however, has in him other qualities, which his association with Batman really brought out. He's a, a bit of a a more optimistic character. I also think he's a bit more of a leader as his career went on to prove. 